What's up guys, it's Daniel here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to go over the latest news updates of COVID cases and the progress of the second stimulus bill and the $1,200 stimulus check for November 14th. So if you're new to my channel, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. So as of today, November 14th, we have passed over 1.3 million deaths worldwide and over 251,000 deaths in the United States as a result of the pandemic. With over 54.3 million people worldwide having tested positive, over 11.2 million of them have been from the United States. In the past 24 hours, the United States has hit an all-time high for new COVID cases, reaching over 181,000 positive cases in the past 24 hours. With the possibility of a government shutdown on December 11th, it is looking like a relief package might not get passed until President-elect Joe Biden takes office in January. Earlier today, President Donald Trump tweeted, Congress must do a COVID relief bill. Needs Democrats support? Make it big and focused, get it done. On Friday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi asked for negotiations to resume with Republicans to pass a stimulus package. She said, our focus in the lame duck continues to be COVID relief. This is a red alert. I urge Republicans to acknowledge the crisis and come to the table to work on COVID relief. On Thursday, both Nancy Pelosi and Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer stuck to their proposed $2.4 billion relief package and said that it needs to be a starting point. Whilst Mitch McConnell has said that he believes $500 billion is more than enough. This is far below the $1.9 trillion the Trump administration was offering before the election. Earlier this week, Chief US Economist at JP Morgan Chase & Co, Michael Faroli wrote, something in the neighborhood of $1 trillion in the first quarter is a reasonable expectation for fiscal stimulus. In other news, Oregon Governor Kate Brown has ordered new restrictions to be put in place for two weeks to try and slow the spread of COVID. Starting from Wednesday, businesses such as gyms, movie theaters, pools, and museums will be asked to close, and businesses will be asked to work from home if at all possible. In New Mexico, Democratic Governor Michelle Luan Grisham has set a two-week stay-at-home order. She said, we are in a life or death situation, and if we don't act now, we cannot preserve lives. We can't keep saving lives, and we will absolutely crush our current healthcare system and infrastructure. In Europe, Austria has announced that it will go into a second lockdown for at least two and a half weeks after recording a massive spike in COVID cases. This new wave of daily infections is nine times higher than the previous peak they had earlier this year. In this lockdown, all non-essential shops and services will close, including hairdressers. Schools will be shut and teach online, and people will be asked not to leave their house unless they have a valid reason to leave. So it seems like we may have to wait till early next year to get a stimulus package passed. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, make sure to click the link below to get your three free stocks from Webull valued at up to $1,600 when you open a new account and deposit over $100. And as always, please like, share and subscribe.